Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting system of equations. Equations are x root y equal to 54 plus y root x. And second equation is x root x is equal to 189 plus y root y. x y is real and we have to evaluate the sum x plus y. So let's get started by writing equation 1 and equation 2. Now I will consider the very first equation as I can write x as a square root x whole square times a square root y. Okay, this x we can write a square root x a square. Then I will take our y root x term to the left. So I will write similarly a square root y a square square root x equal to 54. Done. Now you can see it is square root x, square root y, square root y, square root x terms are there. So I will consider square root xy common by applying the property of radicals that square root x times square root y, it is equal to square root xy where xy belongs to real numbers. So I can take square root xy common. So what is left? Square root x minus square root y equal to 54. And this we will call equation number 3. Now similar way I will consider my second equation. Okay. Now second equation we will write x root x. So I can see this as square root x whole cube is it square root x whole cube so root x times root x times root x that means x root x similarly y root y i will write in the left hand side with minus sign so similarly i will write root y whole cube equal to 189 this is our equation number 4 now i will use one algebraic identity which we know that is a minus b whole cube. Let me write here a minus b whole cube it is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3ab a minus b. So let's apply over here consider a as root x b as root y whole cube. So it will give us a cube. So I will write root x cube minus root y cube minus 3ab. So 3 square root xy. In bracket I can write root x minus root y. Now you can see everything from equation 4, equation 3 I will use directly. See how it is. A square root x cube minus a square root y cube. That is our equation number 4. Equation number 4. And square root xy times square root x minus square root y. That is our equation number 3. So directly we will apply the values. So let me write in the new page. I will write this. Let me write once more square root x minus square root y whole cube equal to square root x whole cube minus square root y whole cube minus 3 square root xy in bracket square root x minus square root y. Now as per equation 3, let me write that equation or directly we can put the value. As per equation 4, this value is 189. As per equation 3, this value is 54. Let's apply over there. Root x minus root y whole cube equal to 189 minus 3 times 54. It will give us 189 minus 3 times 54 is 162. If I will take away, I will get 27. So left hand side is square root x minus square root y whole cube. Take cube root both sides. Once I will take cube root both sides, but before that we should write 27 as 3 cube. Now consider cube root both sides. So 
so after taking cube root i will write directly root x minus root y it would be equal to 3 okay now let us consider this is our equation number 5 now if i will put this value of root x minus root y equal to 3 in equation number 3 so we have to consider equation 3 let me write equation number 3 equation number 3 was root xy times root x minus root y equal to 54 this was our equation number 3 now substitute this value into equation 3 so i will get from here root xy and this value is equal to 3 here i will write 3 equal to 54 so square root xy equal to 18 this value is required once we will calculate x plus y so root xy is 18 now i will consider the squaring of equation 5 let me write here equation 5 root x minus root y equal to 3 now consider squaring both sides so i will write squaring both sides let me write here now you can see a minus b whole square so i will write root x whole square plus root y whole square minus 2 times a b equal to 9 now we have calculated root x y we have calculated that was 18 let me write here equation number 5 it was now let's put the value here because root x y in next step you will write x plus y minus 2 square root x y equal to 9 now i will put this value over here so x plus y minus 2 times 18 equal to 9 so x plus y minus 36 equal to 9 so from here we can write x plus y equal to 9 plus 36 and in next step you will write 36 plus 9 is 45 so our answer as far as expression is concerned that is 45 see if it is asked to find out x and y also now we know xy that means xy is also known that would be 18 square now a plus b is 45 ab is 18 square if it is said to find out a and b separately we can use the identity a minus b whole square equal to a plus b whole square minus 4ab from there or directly we can find out the value of y from this equation that would be 18 square over x and we can substitute over there to make one quadratic equation and once we will solve that equation we will get our separate x and y i hope you like this video somewhere it would be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe we will meet in the next good video bye bye take care